If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment. And also you can check out my Patreon page. The link will be in the description. Peace. <laughs> Lissandro Trimoni is a product of AC Ajaco's Youth Academy. He is already considered a very bright talent in France and especially in Ajaco. So far he's made just one appearance for Ajaco's professional team which came earlier this season in a 2-1 defeat. Tremoni is a very key player for the French under 17 team who caught the eye of PSG last season but due to him getting different agents during that summer this move fell through. It is reported that PSG offered 3 million euros to get Tremoni over to Paris. Lissandro is a tricky winger who can play on the both left and right hand side of attack. He's a left footed player who stands at 5 foot 11 which is actually a very decent height for a 16 year old and also for a winger. This can add some physicality. He is a very technical player who loves to cut in from the right hand side of attack onto his favoured left foot. Best attribute so far is his great technique on the ball, his mobility, pace, acceleration, ball control, dribbling and his vision. Hello guys, so how are we going to do this? We're going to develop this guy for five years, we're going to go into five seasons and see how this guy does. We're going to check his stats, of course his progress how he's doing at Leon and how Leon are doing most importantly because he is going to be a key player. He's going to play every game he can. This is how we are going to set it up. As you can see, I'm already six months into the game. This guy will cost you nothing at the start. It says I paid 1 million for him at the start of the season. He is 16. He is available to approach to sign straight away. So this guy will be a steal. He's a free transfer at the beginning and we will see what his value can reach to within five years. For his development, we have set him as advanced playmaker on the attack duty. His additional focus is the final third, so he'll be focusing on his decisions and his composure. For me, these are very key for a technical player. A technical player will usually have a very good technique, very good vision, passing and first touch dribbling maybe, but all of these attributes will need decision making and very good composure to be able to pull it off on a regular basis. The reason why I picked advanced playmaker as his training position is because he is a very technical player and the advanced playmaker position training it covers a lot of technical attributes and these are what we want to progress to make him become a better technical player. Over the six months we played so far, as you can see, he's progressing very, very nicely. His decisions have already gone up by two, so has his composure. His anticipation has gone up by one, so has his balance and his jumping reach. So his physicals we are expecting to develop naturally as he is a 16 year old. So these attributes should develop naturally. We shouldn't be touching his physicals, not at a, such a young age anyway. What we are going to focus on is his mental attributes and his technical attributes. Tactic wise we've gone with a preset Gegen press. I've tweaked a few roles. The reason why I've done this is because I know this system and these roles fit nicely with the instructions and it should give Tremoni a good chance to develop because in order for him to develop good he must play good too. And for the training schedule I've set this schedule up to benefit the attacking players, of course, Tremoni will be in the attacking unit. It's a fairly balanced schedule alongside with a few technical schedules involved too. We've added chance conversion, creation, ball distribution, transitional press and attacking on the wings. This should help Tremoni in training to develop. It would help other attacking players in the team too, but we are focusing on Tremoni. So we're going to skip to the end of the season and we are going to see how Tremoni has developed. So here we are at the end of the first season and as you can see PSG they completely ran away with it. They got 102 points. We only got 86. They were miles away. But we are focusing on Lissandro Tremoni. So let's see how he got along. As we can see a lot of development has happened. His value is now at 1.3 million. He's earning 5.25 thousand pound a week. 
fairly decent for a 17 year old his personality fairly determined i noticed that his determination was on 16 it's dropped down to 15 which is a little annoying and player traits during the season i did add cutting from the right wing because in real life i feel he does do this he's a very tricky player and he's a left footed player on the right hand side he just loves to come inside onto his favorite foot so i got him to train that if we check his progress as you can see his composure and his decisions have gone up by free that's excellent stuff he was working on his final third in training and we can tell that has worked excellently and as you can see his physical attributes major overall improvement in that he is 16 years old naturally his physical attributes will improve especially if he's playing a lot of games in the first team his mental attributes have also grown a lot a major improvement there and there's only a slight overall improvement in his technical ability but we have more seasons to develop that at first we will concentrate on the mentals then we can go to the technicals and maybe we'll go back to the mentals and we'll work like that for five years i will be adding player traits during the seasons as well i've already got my eye on play one twos and play killer balls i feel this will help him as a player and play better during matches so in the first season he played 32 games he scored five goals with seven assists he got one man of the match and that left him with an average rating of 6.86 if we check his milestones in his first year already he broke the league one record for the youngest player to score in a match for leon and for the league so in the first season he was pretty much a record breaking player he was also named in the season best 11 we are now going to skip to the second season to see his progress and his stats and see what else this guy can offer to leon so here we are at the end of the second season and as you can see already Lissandro Tremoni has 13 assists to his name so already an improvement from last season and that has also helped Leon to a league title win so Leon won the league and Tremoni got the most assist for Leon if we also check the chances created during this league Lissandro Tremoni created the most chances in the league as a 17 year old that is very very impressive looking at this profile page already we can see the growth is happening very very rapidly he's now valued at 7 million so he's grown a lot in his value his wage has also gone up rightly so he's 18 years of age now and as you can see a lot of improvement his determination has also gone back up if we check his progress wow a major overall improvement in his technical ability and as you can see his first touch has gone up by two so is his heading and his marking but his passing has also gone up by two he's de de really developing to a great great technical player his anticipation has now gone up by three his concentration has gone up by two which is a bonus having good concentration is a very very good attribute especially for the top sides his vision's gone up by three his off the ball's gone up by two and his physical ability has just is shooting up massively his balance has gone up by four now so now when he's dribbling with the ball he's not easily taken off the ball by challenges or by other physical players he can now hold his own a little as his strength is now shot up to 11 as well very very great player this guy is turning into slowly but surely for his development this season as you can see it's on ball control like we said about him being a technical player ball control is very important and as you can see his strongest attribute is his first touch and that is key to him being a technical player his current ability is now two and a half star when he first joined it was just one star his potential ability can potentially be a five star player for leon if we check his season stats he played 33 he, again he scored five goals but he got 10 assists this season with an average rating of 7.14 if we check his history and his milestones he was named in the team of the week a few times again he's named in the best 11 but this time he has the league title to his name and he also has the coupe de france trophy again so now we're going to skip to the third season and what we really want is his media description to be a wonder kid that would be 
excellent. If he could be a wonder kid, then we know we're on the right tracks and we've got a wonder kid on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully in the third or the fourth season, because he'll still be 20 years of age, that he can get this wonder kid status. So here we are at the end of the third season and as you can see Leon have won the league again that's two times in a row and as you can see Lissandra Tremoni played another huge part during this season with 22 assists to his name that's very very great. Also for the second season running Lissandra Tremoni has created the most chances in the league also he came second just behind Neymar with the most assist in the league too. He played a very, very important role this season. And yes, finally, he is labeled as a wonder kid. Now at 19 years of age, he's valued at 24 million pounds. He's also earning 40,000 pound a week, which now makes him an important player for Leon. His current ability is, the, is three star and his potential is still potentially five stars. And if we look at his development for the year, I didn't expect such a quick and rapid development, but this is all achievable. If you if you are hands-on a player's development, then this stuff here is achievable. As you can see, his technique is now has gone up by two, his passing has gone up by three, so has his vision. His first touch in his dribbling is now on 15. I expect that to be on 16 sometime soon. He's getting a few greens now with his anticipation on 16. His stamina is also on 16. This season, we we did give him passing for additional focus so each year we are trying to focus on something that helps him become a better technical player i'm also getting him to train to play one twos if we check his season stats he played 35 games he scored 11 this time with 16 assists six man of the matches and his best average rating yet 7.8 Seven. If we check his milestones, he has also won the European Golden Boy. That is excellent. So he's been voted as the best youngster in Europe. He's got the Golden Boy Award. He's well on his way to become a top, top French player. Also for the France under 20s, he was a winner for the FIFA World Cup under 20 competition. In the first season, it looks like he's really, really showing off his talents now. I feel he's developing now. He's a very good player probably suited to play in most leagues very very interested to see what will happen in the fourth season so here we are in the fourth season and no we didn't get to win the league again but we did finish with 91 points which is very good PSG won the league this year but as you can see my oh my Lissandro Tramoni 30 goals as the right winger coming in with 7.67 average rating with 25 assists this guy just keeps progressing progressing getting better excellent excellent player this guy is becoming if we check his attributes now and look we can see the greens the dribbling is now on 16 so is his first touch his passing and his technique and he is valued at 54 million pound earning £125,000 a week, being a star player, and he is still a wonder kid. And if you look at his current ability, it's now three and a half star. So this guy is proven, improving massively. He likes to play one twos now, exactly what we want for a very technical winger. If we check his progress throughout his career now, absolutely immense. Like we said before, his dribbling's now in the green, his first touch also, passing, technique, all on 16, his, his anticipation just seems to keep rising and rising. Though we're not giving him the additional focus to improve on his anticipation, it seems to just improve rapidly, naturally, or maybe it's because of the training schedules as well. But you can see his composure has gone up by six. That is excellent. So has his decisions. His off the ball's gone up by three. His vision is now 16-2. His stamina is very, very high now. His strength is also a surprising increase. Is now up to 13. He's improved by five on his strength. That is very, very, very good. Again, this year he was on ball control. Just keep on proving on those technical attributes. If we check his records now, he's broke the record for amount of assists with 22 assists. He also broke the Coupe de France record for assists with seven as well. So this guy is just, he's a record breaker, clearly. 
Oh, he's won the Champions League, guys. He has won the Champions League in his best season. And it's no surprise, Tremoni has his best season. So do Leon, And they have won the Champions League. And if we check the Champions League stats, who has the most assists? You guessed it, Tramoni. This guy has been excellent for Leon. He's played 22 key passes with a 78 pass percent completion. And that's just in the Champions League. So this guy is very, very quality. This was a 2-0 win in the final with Musa Dembele scoring both of the goals. And you can see Tramoni with two chances created and one assist to his name in the final so this guy could potentially also be a big game player but if we check his stats for the season he's played 37 games out of the 38 so he's a very key player hardly got injured this season of course if he's available to play 37 games he scored 22 goals with 11 assists not the most assists he's had in the league but he did score 22 goals and his highest average rating so far was 7.5 six two so as you can see this guy is a very very excellent player now he's a key player for leon and i'm sure now he'll be a key player for a lot of good clubs and remember guys this guy was free at the beginning of the season we didn't have to pay a transfer fee for him we just approached to sign as he is a 16 year old but now we are going to go into the fifth and the final season this is heartbreaking because i want to see how this guy gets on forever but we're only going to do five seasons so we're going to see how he gets on next season and hopefully there's even more improvements. So here we are in the fifth and final season of watching this wonder kid grow beautifully. And as you can see, Leon won the league with St. Etienne coming second. Very, very poor season for Paris. But we don't care about that. What we care about is Lissandro Chamoni. And again, the highest average rated player for Leon with the most assists with 25. So he keeps assisting even more. And he is matching Musa Dembele with the player of the match awards with 12 each. His current ability is now four and a half star for Leon. He's a 21 year old. Of course, there's more space for him to develop. His technical attributes can still go up, but they are at 16s and I feel he can pretty much get into a lot of teams and be a key player. He's now playing killer balls as well. So he's creating even more chances with that 16 passing and the vision and the technique. This guy is a quality player. He's got to be a must get at the beginning of a lot of people's saves. His value has actually gone down to 47 million, but maybe that's because of the Champions League run last year. His value was so high, but now he's valued at 47 million, still very close to that 50 million mark. So it's still very impressive for a 21 year old player. And if we check his all time development for five years, here we go, lads. A major improvement in all areas. He's just improved majorly in those areas. Most impressively, his dribbling has increased high. So has his first touch, his passing and his technique. These are the technical attributes we are looking for for a very technical player. For his mentals, his anticipation, composure, decision. His flair's gone up by two, which is good. His off the ball's gone up by three, which is good. But his vision has gone up by five. So he's still mentally strong. He's got great technical attributes, but his physicals are also very impressive. He's a speedy player, great agility with balance and strength. There's not much this guy really can't do. He can pretty much do everything that you want from a winger. We'll check his history, his season stats for his last season. He played 34, so less than last season. He scored 12, which again is less than last season, but he's got 19 assists to his name, which is the most assist he's had in a season, which I'm pretty sure, again, he's broken the assist record. His average rating this season was 7.44, which is not better than last year, but it's still, still very good. If we check his Golden Boy Awards, he's won three in a row. Wow, he's won three Golden Boy Awards in a row. You can tell he's very highly rated by everyone else too. Also forgot to mention last season, he did win the FIFA's Best Under-21s Men's Player Award. So again, around Europe, he's going to be well known winning these awards. His reputation must have shot up because of this. So if we have a little read of his biography, Lissandro Tramoni is a well-known name for football fans across Europe. Lissandro Tramoni has spent his entire professional career 
at Olympic Lyonnais, making a total of 170 league appearances, scoring 54 goals since joining in June 2019. Chimoni has so far lifted the League One in 2001 and 2002, which I'm sure there's a year missing because he's actually won three. He won the Coupe de France three times between 2020 and 2023. He won the UEFA Super Cup in 2023 alongside the UEFA Champions League. He won the FIFA World Cup Under-20s in 2021 and the Trophies de Champions in 2020. Chimoni has earned recognition from the footballing community for his achievements, named as a European Golden Boy on three occasions, the runner-up of the most assists in the League One. He's also won the FIFA Best Under-21 Men's Player. He was the runner-up for the French Player of the Year and also runner-up for the League One Top Goal Scorer. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching my first, first ever, I don't know what we're going to call this, player spotlight. I feel it went very well. Lissandro Tremoni is a high recommended player from me, myself personally. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you've got any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'd like to give a shout out to Luke who was previously employed by FM Scout who used to do this videos with major success. Credit goes out to him and good luck to him on his solo career. So thank you guys, we'll see you soon, peace.